So it is about 17 degrees and the temperatures are dropping to zero with a strong wind. And I finally have taken the opportunity to set up my StellarView SVX-130T telescope. And here you can see it on its Lasmandi G11G mount. So I thought I'd give a quick tour of what's involved in this whole thing uh, because I've gotten some questions from folks saying, asking, well, what do you have to put together? It's a telescope. Well, that's true. Uh, so starting from the top, we have a dew shield and right behind it is a black band heater I installed. That's to prevent frosting of the lens in the winter and dew formation in the summer. If we go back down the tube, you can see this blue box. It's a Pegasus uh, power box, which I had installed, and it provides a powered USB connection for all my computer connections to the cameras, as well as a 12 volt power hub to power my main camera, as well as the dew heaters. So if we keep moving down the telescope, you can see here is my finder scope, which I t had taken off my old telescope with a lit reticle so I can actually aim the telescope at night. And behind that is my feather touch focuser, which is a three and a half inch focuser. And I modified it with this powered focus motor. So I can use that to either auto focus or to step through uh, focus steps during the night without actually touching this telescope and causing vibrations. Further down the unit, you see this large black section. That is my F 0.72 focal reducer. So with that focal reducer, it makes this telescope uh, 655 millimeters in focal length with a, the 130 millimeter aperture. So overall, the focal ratio will be F5, which is nice and fast. Immediately behind the focal reducer is a, an off-axis guider, which is a prism. It takes some of the light and bounces it up into this little red camera which is an ASI 174mm mini guide camera. And so I use the, the, that taken off light to go into my guiding computer and lock on a star target. And what that does is corrects the tracking of the telescope through the night. So the main, main amount of light goes through this, fil this drum, which is my electronic filter wheel. And it has seven positions. Right now I've got four filters, luminance, red, green, and blue filters, and it's driven electrically. And directly behind it is my, oops, ASI 6200mm main imaging camera. So it's monochrome and it's cooled and can bring the temperature of the sensor 35 degrees below Celsius. Even though God knows why I would need that tonight when it's already going to be <laughs> down below 10 degrees Celsius all on its own. So that's pretty much the whole setup. The tracking mount has uh, 42 pounds of counterweight on it in order to provide balance with the main telescope and two drive motors. Uh, they drive it both in right ascension and in declination. And those are wired into my Gemini 2 control loop. And the controller plugs in here and it communicates with the tracking software through this ethernet connection. So that is pretty much it. We'll wait for skies to darken up and then uh, fire it up and see if all of this finally works.